Hey, it's just over new student here, and today we're going to be talking about how to install Scene Builder and how to use it with JavaFX and IntelliJ. So, first of all, just follow the link in the description to get to this page where you can download. Download now. Download uh, the specific version you need. I am on a Windows computer, so I'll just down Windows. And wait a few seconds for it to download. There we go. When it's done downloading, just click it and go through the loading process and when it's done just click finish and you would go to and search for scene builder on your computer and we can open scene builder so this is the basic layout of scene builder so we will be using it with already already created a, a file called um, first JavaFX, and i just saved it somewhere on my computer so if you don't have a ready working JavaFX program yet, you could go watch my other video, I'll link in the description on how to get a JavaFX and IntelliJ working. But if you have it working, you would have a MT, more this empty FXML document, which is a markup language used by JavaFX to like be part of the product of the software. So we would just need to find the specific FXML document inside Scene Builder. So we just go file open. And we would have to find it, so I know mine is hidden in my local disk. Under Users, under Me, under IDE Project, then we have the first JavaFX document. Then we would go to Source, and then we have the sample package, and then we've got the sample .fxml document, which we will open, which for now would be empty. So we could attach panes, but for now I'll just show it works and later on we would uh, in the next few videos i'll go through how to actually use it but first of all i'll just use what's an anchor pane which is just like a, a empty background let's just increase the size to 400 by 400 and to show it works i'll just add a random button right there so and we would just make sure the controller is the same controller so right now we have an fxml document and we have a controller which is like the the class that contains all the specific uh, connections between a symbol between a button and the usability of a button but for now just make sure it's sample controller which should be the same as sample which is the package and the name of the controller should just be controller so that's correct and as you can see it hasn't changed here yet but you need to remember to save, so we can just do Control S to save. Always remember to save, and it pops inside IntelliJ. And now, when we run our program, we see the button right here. However, it's still like a fixed size, because when you create a, a basic form of JavaFX, it would make the size of our window 300 by 275 pixels. So we just remove this because then we would get the size based on our fxml document so now we would just um, run the program and we would see we would get the, the thing from the fxml document and we could pretty fast go in here change the position of the bottom remember to save go back run the program again and it's changed so that's the basics of a scene builder it's simply just a application that allow us to pretty fast create some, uh, some GUI and then we could use JavaFX to create some usability through a controller for this program. So that's the basics of Scene Builder. I'll be doing some videos on how to actually use JavaFX with Scene Builder and the basics of it. So follow if you enjoyed and hope to see you soon.